Today I'm going to demonstrate a new feature in Atom version 2.7. This is the use of a CSV validation tool to assist with CSV imports. This tool can be used from either the user interface or via the command line. It can be used on its own or as part of the CSV import process. To configure the validation tool to use with CSV import, an administrator can go to the admin and then settings in the navigation bar. On the left hand side, they can select then CSV validator. This will allow you to select either off, permissive, and strict. These settings will allow the CSV validator to run as part of CSV import. Make your selection and hit save. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to run CSV validation independent of an import. To run a CSV validation, click on import and navigate to validate CSV. Use the drop down menu to select the type of CSV you wish to validate. In this case, I will be validating an archival description. Select the file you wish to import with the choose file button and then select validate button once the file is uploaded. Once launched, Adam will reload the page with a job notification that the CSV validation has been initiated. Clicking on the link to the job details page, you will find the results. This includes a short summary version of the validation report and also a hyperlink in the overview section to download a more detailed report, which includes further information on the results of each search. The summary version will highlight all errors, warnings, or info. An error identifies an issue that will either cause an import to fail or lead to undesirable results. In the example here, I have qubit parent slugs that do not have a match in my Atom instance. This means that all records will be treated as top level ones instead of item level records. Warnings are less severe than an error. They are based on common user errors. For example, here for repository check, we have a new repository that might be created, but not intended. Downloading the further validation report will allow you to see details on every check that has been performed, not just the ones that produce errors or warnings, but also ones that produce further info. For more information on the use of this feature and how to interpret the validation results in the report, please visit the Atom 2.7 documentation. Thank you.